So if you ever had this situation where you're getting up at the, whoa, what the hell just happened? Yeah, so that's where this bad boy comes into play. I'm gonna be telling you all about it, how to install it because there are no instructions and how it changes my life because it has a lot of great things that are much better than this. All right, so you got your new newer light stand thing. I'm gonna take off the wrapper here, one with one hand. All right, this is great, but it doesn't come with what you need. So you're gonna have to go to a local hardware store. Uh, I go to Menards, you can go to Home Depot, something like that, and pick up the screws that you do need to put it on the wall. So since this thing came with no real instructions, no instructions at all actually, and these things, which I've been told are for concrete walls, and I don't have concrete walls, I have drywall, I had to go to the hardware store and get these bad boys that can support 85 pounds. This thing is definitely way less than that. So I got to do some anchor into the drywall, put the screw in, and then these screws, I mean, it, maybe it's hard for you to see. For that hole, I'd be afraid of them slipping out. So on top of that, I also bought these flat washers as well. So that when I put it in here, first the anchor, then the screw but first putting the washer with the screw so that it won't f f fall out over here i was going to say something different but you know what i mean so that way it'll be secure right, so we got our washers because i don't want the screws to be slipping through that hole so you want to put a washer in there and let's open this so we're going to have to anchor so first as you can see here you're going to have to drill a hole so you should have something like this coupled along with something like this. And let's see what size we're going to use. I think, wow, I wish I had someone to help me like hold this so I can do this with more than one hand. So I'm just looking at the screws. I'm going to eyeball it. Let's say, I think this one looks good. Oh, but you're looking at, eh, we want a bigger one. Let's go with this bad boy. And this is a 516. And that looks like it's going to be a good size because that'll get the hole. Once you put the anchor in there, then as you can see, we, you screw it in and then that anchor expands. All right, so the first thing you have to do is find your placement. So normally before I had this light over here but the door whenever i opened the closet kept getting in the way so we're going to get rid of this stand and we're going to put this on the wall over here so that way even if the door opens it's going to be above it or i can retract it up so the key is finding a good placement where the light's going to fit on the top so you can actually have the light come out to the side and you'll see when I uh, install it. But you want to make sure that this is straight and level. And then you're going to mark the circle so that I can drill holes there. So to do that, I would use this app on my phone, but my phone is using for recording. So I got this bad boy right here. This came free with the TV mount that I ordered off of Amazon before. Uh, I'll put the link down below. I love that TV mount. And I just use this now when I'm recording with the phone. So you can just stick it on the top, make sure that little bubbles in the middle, bada bing. And then once it's there, then you can start marking. So let's see, in the middle, we're good. Put that down. So what I like to, oh shit. Make sure you don't move when you do that because then you're gonna lose your space. So this might be a little uh, trial and patience for you. So again, put it up here, hold it. So I'm gonna put the marks in each of the circles. And now that we have that marked up, we can start to drill. All right, pro tip, if you're having trouble like me, if it's a little higher, you can stand on a little chair or some sort of stool or something. And then when you're here, it's kind of hard to like have it 
balance, make sure it's level, and then fill in all the circles. So what I did right now, I paid special attention to get the top two. And I'm gonna do the top two first, then screw it in so it's stable, and then I'll get the bottom two to go along with it. All right, now the fun part. So, we're gonna come on up here, go in the middle of those circles. Your drill bit should have like a little pointy thing. I don't know if you can see that. So you wanna put that pointy thing right in the middle, and then drill it through, nice. Oh, there's insulation, nice. This will be a little colder in the winter time now. And let's get this one right in the middle. Bada bing! Oh, that shouldn't happen. So that means I didn't tighten this enough. So make sure when you put your drill bit in, you really squeeze it tight so it doesn't come off. That should not happen. That's my bad right there. So now I'm gonna grab the anchor and a screwdriver. So pull out your anchors. You got your screwdriver here. So I'm gonna stick that in and then I'm gonna screw it all the way in. First, let me push this insulation back in. You don't wanna lose that. That keeps you warm in the winter time. So we stick our anchor in and you just screw it in just like so, real easy. Since we already did that drill bit, it's gonna be a lot easier to put it in. Bada bing. Now we'll do the same thing here. So yeah, first I'll push all that stuff back in and then line it up. Make sure it's going in straight and screw that in. Just like that. So now there's two ways you can do this next part. Number one, I can screw it in the top two, then mark my circles, but then I'll have to take it back off. If I can't drill it through, I might be able to, but I don't think so. And then you'll have it straight. So let's try that out. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab our screws here. Remember your washer. There's a reason that we bought these, so that we're gonna put this on top of the screw like so, so it goes through. Put it through like so. I'm gonna grab this bad boy. All right. So I'll just retract this up to give me the most room. So I'm gonna stick this in here. Never mind, I can't retract it all the way up. It'll hit the ceiling. So I'll have it hanging out a little bit. So I'm gonna stick this in here. I can hand tighten it a little bit, so I'll hand tighten this. I'm going to get the other one in before I screw it with the screwdriver. So, I mean, you can't really see that. Alright, so that goes in nice and easy. So now, I can really get my bottom holes, but I'm, I'm just going to screw it in all the way just to get it 100%. So actually, I mean, theoretically, just doing these top two, you might have enough support to leave it as is. I like to be over prepared because if you think about it, it's at 85 pounds. I don't know if that's each screw or is that like the whole thing together? If you know, please let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure if it's 85 pounds per screw or if that's 85 pounds for the whole apparatus together. So I'm just gonna put these two screws on and we'll see if that's gonna work, okay? So boom, that's tight, that's tight. Seems pretty solid to me. So here, let's get our light. We're gonna take it off the stand because as you saw in the beginning of the video, that can easily fall down. We don't like that. So you just twist it off like so, pull it off. Hopefully never see this again. Uh, we are going to screw this on to this part up here. So make sure this is tight, first of all. So you're going to tighten that off. So this retracts. I'm going to stick this on here. Like so. And then we are going to tighten it from the light stand 
side, from the light side, I mean. All right. And now this looks like we're good. So this kind of hangs now. You just got to find a position that we like. So if you want to have it kind of straight off, like traditional, you could put it like this and then lock from here, but I want it coming, kind of coming down. So I'm going to put it sideways because that'll maximize our space. But I want to bring this arm up. So I'm going to lock this here. We're going to lock this. All right, so now this light is kind of up here and now I can lock this so I can have it kind of straight kind of coming down. Um, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna reduce that glare. Now this whole space is cleared up. I'm not gonna trip on any stands anymore. All I gotta do is find my power cable. Where are you at? This kind of came off when we were doing construction, but here we go. Plug that back in. I'm sure you could like run this through here and all that just to really get it. Bada bing, check that out. So, what just happened? You know what? So you're probably gonna wanna wrap this a couple times or else there's gonna be too much downward force and it might get disconnected. So wrap that a couple times, bring it up through here, make sure that's in. Okay, that's a lot better. Uh, again, for more stability, you can do these bottom two screws in here, but this so it actually seems pretty solid. I even have my uh, my little remote over there. So check that out. Got a little crooked. So make sure your things are straight. Straighten that out a little bit. Bada bing. So you can see, now that's coming down at an angle, you're not gonna have any of that glare when it's coming straight at you to something shiny in the background. And you can kind of play with it too. I mean, you can put it more forward, more down. You can have it right above you. There's so many options. You could use this for a microphone too, if you wanted to. So hopefully this was very useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Share it out to someone else. Cause again, when I got this box, there was no real instructions in here and it's kind of frustrating. So if you know someone else who bought this or is interested in buying it, definitely share this video out to them. Give it a like, it's free of course. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next one.